Alright, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a little updated collection video while I have everything in this weird setup right here. I'm just going to say when I got it, radio right name, when I got it, and where I got it. So, yeah, let's get into it. Here's my Midland WR100 version 5. Got this at Caesar Creek Flea Market down near Wilmington in August of 2018. It's my first ever radio. Then we have the Accurate 8550, which is over at my dad's. I That was my second ever weather radio I got it from my dad. He never used it for about a year before I got it. It was about October 2018, I think. Then came to Radio Shack 12-250. Got this at the Ohio Thrift over in Grove City in November of 2018. And just after it, I got the Midland wr 120 Easy. This is one of my two out-of-service radios. It doesn't have an antenna anymore, because this guy had to snap on a pillow. Um, and I got it out of Walgreens in Chillicothe. November 2018. Then almost a year later, it came to Radio Shack 12-259. This was my first ever eBay purchase. Of a weather radio, at least. Um, I got it in September 2019. And it's the second out-of-service radio because the tuner died. Then came Radio Shack 12-249. This is my second eBay purchase. Well, radio-wise. Got it in October of 2018. Then next up, all the way in February of 2020, came the Unit and Bearcat BC-125AT. Got it off of eBay. Next up, in April, just the same weekend as Easter, not a huge event, 2020, I got the Midland 74 through 10. That is over at the new house, and I got it off of eBay as well. Then came, last video before I was and buying stuff, the Eton Solarlink FR370 LO Bean. I bought this off of eBay in May of 2020. Yeah, then comes the huge break. Over to the Radio Shack 12-254. I got this in April of 2021, this year, off of eBay. Then came to Alertworks EAR-10. Got this at the Ohio Thrift and Grove City for about 8 bucks in June of 2021. Same day, got the SEMA First Lord WX-67. The Ohio Thrift at Great Southern for about, I don't know, about four or five bucks, maybe. This was for about three bucks. But, um, yeah. Next up came the Recom R-1650A. I got this also in June of 2021 off of eBay. So it's my first ever rare radio. Same day, Got the Oregon Scientific WR106, off, also off of eBay. Next up, right next to it, came the Oregon Scientific WRS101, also off of eBay, also in June. Next up came the Weather Alert TA-C1. Got this off of eBay in about either June or July. Right next to it is the next one, the Radio Shark 12-247. And no, this is not an A or a B. Bought this off of eBay in July. Then came about a few weeks, and then came a huge thing. Here's the radio. Here's the General Electric 7 a Actually, this is actually the second one I've ever seen. First one I've seen was I don't know how thrift at Great Southern, which I passed on and I regretted it. And then I got this guy off of eBay in about August or September. Same day, I got the um, Sears SR3000 series model number, I do not know, um, 667.24071450. This thing does not have good reception, and I got it off of eBay. Same with you. We both came on the same day. Next up came the uh, Radio Shack 12-261. This is a 2005 model. I also got it off of eBay. Came a few days after these two. Then about a day or two after the 261 came the Eton ESP2100, my only other rear radio, technically. And uh, 
I got this off of Gooman HLR off of eBay in uh, about a couple of days after him, as I said. Next up came the final eBay radio, the Radio Shack 12-245A. This is not a 12-245. It was, at one point, a, uh, a lower-pitch 246 siren shoved into the body of a 245 with the newer Radio Shack logo. But as of literally this week, the siren now acts like a 245. I don't understand. And it also acts like it hits a rev limiter and sounds weird, as you may have seen. And for the final three radios, we have the Weather Alert TA-18. I got this at the Ohio Thrift in Grove City just in October for about maybe five bucks. Then came my cheapest weather radio, the uh, Radio Sh my no, Realistic 12-151A. I got this thing for two bucks and 99 cents. Yeah, it was cheap and it works just fine. And finally, what is not over here right now, I have no clue where it even is. My Motorola talk about MH230 TPR, which sadly is also out of service because it has deco apparent decoder issues, if you remember seeing that. It never went off for any other weekly tests before then on my streams where my microphone was not connected. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you all for watching.